guys, how you doing? My name is Mel. Welcome to Holmes Law. Today we're going to be doing a quick little video on continuity tests, okay? And um, I've heard you guys, I've read your comments, I've read your emails, so here it is. There's going to be a little brief explanation. Of, I'm not going to get into the whole theory and, and get deep into it. I'm just going to give you a practical video on the practical use of continuity tests and how we use it out in the field. Okay, so if your journeyman or mechanic ever steps up to you and says, hey, listen, I need you to help me ring out a circuit, you'll know what to do, okay? Now, for most of you, if you feel that this is, you know, uh, uh, something that you don't need to know, then by all means, you can just, uh, you know, continue on. But uh, for those of you that have requested it, this video is mainly for you, okay, guys? Especially for you apprentices that are, you know, just starting out six months and lower, maybe a year and lower, and whatnot okay so continuity tests basically you know aka also ringing out a circuit now why do we need to do this and why do we need to know this test and why is this so important is number one let's just say that you finished running a whole bunch of you know home runs you know mc cables back to a panel and for some reason you forgot to label them okay and now you have a whole bunch of MC cables in front of the the panel and you don't even know where they're going to. You forgot. Or let's just make it simpler. Let's just say you just forgot to label two cables or whatever the case may be. Okay, and you need to know which one of the two is the microwave. Okay, and whatnot. So uh, basically, your journeyman or your mechanic is going to say, hey, listen, go to the... Uh, Go to the, the microwave and um, grab two cables, grab the two wires and put them together, okay, so that I can ring it out, right? And so you're going to go over there and you're going to put these two cables together so that you can, uh, so that your journeyman can go to the other end and try to find the cable, okay? So basically, that's what we're going to do is we're going to ring it out. So what you're going to do is on the actual meter, you're going to put it to your actual symbol it looks like you know a speaker symbol you know or whatnot it looks like actually the wi-fi symbol but whatever this symbol here is the actual continuity test it'll actually ring okay so in order to test that you're going to grab these two leads and just make sure that it, it, it's working okay but for whatnot for whatever reason you're you're going to actually communicate this to your journeyman whoever you're working with in order to ring out the circuit Okay, so you're going to go ahead and with either radios or your phone, you're going to contact him and you're going to say, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to ring it out now. All right, so you'll put these two leads together. Okay, and it's not ringing. So we know that this isn't the cable that he's looking for because he, he already knows that he put his two cables together or you're putting them together. All right, so now. We're going to try the next cable. Okay, now if this rings, then he knows that this is the actual cable that he's looking for. And it's ringing. So we know that this is the cable. So now your, your, your journeyman is going to say is take it off. Take off the two leads. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to, you know, separate the two wires. And depending on the journeyman or the mechanic, he might say, you know, uh, uh, touch them a couple of times just to make sure that that's it. Okay. And you'll just, you know, touch him, give him a, a, a few, uh, three beeps or something, just so that he knows that this is the cable. And that's basically it in a nutshell, okay? That's what your journeyman or mechanic is telling you and is trying to explain to you when he's saying to ring out a cable, okay? So basically, you'll either be on the meter side, which I doubt most likely the more experienced person is going to be on the meter side. And the helper is going to be on the side where you actually have to, you know, join the two wires together. So once you join them, you'll know that this is the actual cable that you lost or the, uh, that you need. And, and that'll basically be it. Now, to actually avoid doing all this and having to ring out circuits is the best way to do it is just label all your cables. Everything that you run, label it, okay? Label it so that you, later on you don't have to waste time having to ring these these circuits out. Okay, sometimes it's unavoidable, and um, this is just 
you know, a, a brief example, okay? I uh, made it a lot more concise. You could end up being, you know, floors, you know, up on the roof and, and, and your journeyman mechanic could actually end up being downstairs in the basement, okay? But this is one of the best ways to actually ring out a circuit it's, and, and it just, it works, okay? You also have continuity testers, you know, probes and all that. There's other ways to actually, you know, ring them out. Me personally, I like to go to the continuity test and just use a multimeter. This is what I, I choose to use out in the field and whatnot. But now, um, with that said, okay, um, just this is how you actually do a continuity test. You can do it with any type of wire. I'm using 16 gauge low voltage wire here, but you can do this with any type of wire, you can do it all the way up to any size, 500s, 750s. The principle is still there, it's the same thing. It's, it's, it works the same way, okay? Just make sure, the most important thing is make sure that your circuit is dead. It is not on. This is a test that has to be done with the circuit off, okay? So make sure that your circuit is opened, it's not live then you can perform this test, okay? And um, if you're going to do this yourself, just make sure, again, that your circuit is, li is not live, okay? And uh, if you want to do it yourself, you can actually just, you know, put together two wires that, you wanna, that you're trying to find, and you can go to the other end and just start checking with your meter all the cables that you feel that it might be until it rings. And when it finally rings, then, you know, Label it. Label it right there in the spot. This way you know what it is. And that's basically it in a nutshell. Just a brief practical example of what you guys asked me to show you. Okay. And uh, if there's any other videos you want me to do, uh, please just uh, put them down in the comments. You know, contact me through any other social media platform. Check out the, the actual um, podcast that I have out now. Go to my LinkedIn as well and follow me there i'm on snapchat reddit all those good stuff and with that guys i'm out